Hello and welcome to Scrolls Talks, episode 12. Sound resumed. And with me, I have Franconi and Nenanas. Uh, are you guys there? You can start talking now. We are here. Ananas. Alright, and are you there, Franconi? Yes, I'm here. Alright, so welcome onto the show. This is the first time for you, I think. Yes? Yep. I I think it is. Yes. Yeah. All right. That is great. Uh, but I think you've been on the um, uh, what's that other podcast called? Uh, the uh, the Badgercast. Yes. 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 You've been on a podcast before. But for you, Nananas, this is the first time you're on a scrolls-related podcast. Yep. It's actually the first time I'm I'm on a stream. Ooh. Even more interesting then. Uh, so what we're going to do here, because you guys are new, I'm going to walk you through it. We are going to just quickly look over the things that have been going on the last week. And if I've missed anything, you know, feel free to chime in and let me know if there's anything cool that's been happening. But not just yet. Wait until I've actually gone through it all. And after that, we're going to dive into the interesting stuff. And that is the Echoes Scrolls, the ones that have been released on the test server and that we haven't covered yet in Scrolls Talks, and additional Echo spoilers that have been released by a particular person. Let's move on. Blinky. It's Blinky. Yes, it is Blinky. But first off is what's been going on in this week. Actually, like last week, technically, uh, this little Scrolls Talks was meant to come out Friday, but forget about that for now. So there's no weekly design contest going on because I put that on a break. Uh, I've been really busy lately, and that is the reason Scrolls Talks has been delayed. But don't worry about that, it's going to be back next week. On Wednesday there was no weekly scroll discussion that is put on hold now, and that is because Donkey has been posting these daily scroll discussions for these Echo Scrolls in the Scrolls Guide forums. So I think you should head over there and uh, the format is as such that you can provide your feedback in a really short post so that your, the developers can just read through it and more easily gain your feedback on these echo scrolls. Uh, a lot of people have varied views and opinions on the echo scrolls, so the more people that can contribute in terms of feedback, the better. And uh, I did post a creative corner, I think, on Friday. I was just hyped up about the Resonant Sword, which we will be discussing. I came up with all these additional Resonant Scrolls, because we have the Resonant Helm. We are going to get the Resonant Sword, so I would like to see a Resonant Shield and maybe some Resonant Boots that make you move through Resonance. Something like that would be cool. But there's been a lot of other cool things going on lately. Uh, the one I'm most hyped about is the uh, little community bot, uh, the noob bot, or I think as, uh, what was it that they called it? Yeah, I think it was, uh, well, let me find it right here, it was help bot or something, no? Yeah, help bot, I think that was a name. Uh, I'll, I'll look for it. <laughs> Alright, you do that, because my internet is really shitty right now. Mentor bot. Mentor bot, that's it. So it's kind of like a chat bot, it's going to hang out in game, in the noob channel, you can actually ask it questions and it will respond with like a short description of a card or you know explain what a control deck is things along those lines and i think it's going to be super cool it's going to be super helpful because whenever someone is you know just completely lost they might just want to ask a question and have it answered immediately and they can just ask this bot and he will take care of it it's actually a terminator Yes, it. it's a potential Terminator. It hasn't quite terminated someone just yet. I think that is the basic requirement to be a Terminator. I, I like the mentor bot idea, but I think it's going to be really hard to make it be extremely uh, effective because I'm not too sure how they will um, uh, deal with the typos and stuff like that and uh, all the information that it has to say. So Yeah, generally I've design some chatbots myself uh, you kind of need to have it I'm not sure if they are doing this but you need to have it set up so it can learn 
uh, the spelling mistakes that people do for these, the most of the common cards, like someone might spell, uh, I don't know, Thea without the H, they might spell her T-E-A. Uh, then you have the nicknames for scrolls. Like people just say brave instead of kinfolk brave. So the bot has to pick up on that as well. And yeah, that would be the challenge, but hopefully they'll manage to cover it. And if they can, if it can work, it will be probably helpful. But other than that, there was also this community reward program going on, where they were giving community contributors, and primarily those that had been assisting in the mentor program, they gave them new avatar heads, and I think a tier 3 scroll, which I think is really cool. Three scroll, but uh, I didn't receive the cool avatar head. And it's like a little Einstein-like avatar yes, head. Yes, I, it, I, uh, I, it's sort of like a joke they have, I'm guessing, because not everyone will, will get that it's a reference to Einstein, so... Yeah, but I think it's cool. Uh, there's no female version of that, though, unfortunately. There isn't? There is a female version of the head, but not for Einstein, of course. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, okay. There is? Yeah, you're getting me confused though. Right yeah, you go I'm ahead and check. For it too. Oh yeah, there is. And it's also sort of like Einstein, only that a female. Oh, right. Yeah, right. That is it. pretty cool. But other than that, the most interesting thing, I think, is the news announced today. And that is in the Scrolls developer Tumblr. And that is custom matches. So you're able to kind of create custom games and they're still developing this uh, they're still working on it but eventually it's gonna be super cool i think you know i i've suggested a thing like that two years ago so it's a little late now <laughs> well at least it's something i mean there's I, I a really lot of potential like idea, yeah because uh i i had a huge combo video that i wanted to make having a lot of stuff happening at the same time but without getting a lot of draw and a lot of resources it's it would be impossible to set up so hopefully something like the this thing that they are going to try and make allows users to set up certain situations and things like that for tests and yeah all right uh, I, I just actually need to restart the stream really quickly because I realize I have the wrong mic on. So bear with oh. me. It's just yeah. going to take a second. 